Hello everybody, and welcome back to Placid Plastic Duck Simulator. And today we're going to look at the new update that dropped on June 6. So I know I'm a little bit late on this, but I noticed that nobody is making videos really talking about it. So the new map, or pool I should say, is the Hippo Space Download. It's about, I think, 2 or $3 on the store. And I've done the liberty of making a save file where I have over 250 ducks because it makes demonstrating many things a lot easier. And I do want to preface this that because I have 250 ducks, it is going to lag the game a little bit. So please bear with me, and I hope the video is not too garbage. So when you first load into the save file, your very first duck is going to be the alien duck, which is typical because you are in space, so why not? So this map is pretty big, and there's definitely a lot more activities to partake in or observe. So we'll go over all the main features of the map as well as uncovering all the secrets that the community has come together and solve in about a day. So starting off, there is a tunnel that your ducks will periodically go through and they will come out the other side. It has two paths and they will open up over time. I'll detail that later. If you click this giant robot, there is a console here along with a big button in the middle and the OG rubber duck is there. Press the button, you'll launch the duck. The duck is gonna fly straight towards this dome, and if it does hit inside the circle, it will release the other duck that is stuck in there. Sometimes it'll do it first try, but if you don't get it, don't worry because you will be able to reload that launcher whenever you want. Next up is this sphere, where you will have ducks periodically come in and will float around, which leads to a tube up top, which we will demonstrate what happens later. Switching seats, you'll end up at the upper half of the pool. In this mini pool, there's two tubes that lead one back to the main pool, and the other one will lead to the sphere. The third tube is an elevator that brings the ducks down from the main pool up into the secondary pool. So periodically, you will see them launch themselves upward. And there we go. So the more ducks that are in this upper pool, the better the odds you have of filling up that sphere with more ducks. Here's one duck going through one tube. And again, this one leads down back into the main pool. Again, sorry for the garbage frame rate. I do have 250 ducks. And there's another duck going down the other tube. So once again, having this many ducks does help when, when it comes to demonstrating what the map can do. So this little chamber is zero gravity. The duck will bounce around. And if it does hit the top of that tube, it will suck it up into a little spaceship that's hovering above. So it looks like I already have three ducks in the spaceship. So clicking on one of them, you'll be able to see what's inside. There was like an alien duck hypno poster that animates once it activates. In the distance, there's an interactable seat that you can't interact with yet until the spaceship takes off. The spaceship takes off if it fills up all six seats, but if you don't have that many ducks, don't worry. This does take off in about like 10 or so minutes when you first start the game. Another interesting note about this tunnel is that if you click any duck that is currently traversing the tunnel, it'll put you in a first-person field of view. So you'll get to enjoy the ride with them and just observe the tunnel. There's really nothing too special about the tunnel itself aside from what's at the other end of it. So after observing the tunnel for a while, I have concluded that every 10 minutes, this little flipper here, divider, whatever you want to call it, will switch over. And if another 10 minutes passes, it'll switch back to its original position. So surprise, surprise, but this is just time gated. Now, I thought I had some footage of it, but I can't seem to find it. But I have observed the submarine duck trying to go underneath it, and it won't. There is an invisible wall underneath it. And I'm going to assume on the hunch that the flying ducks cannot go over it as well. So again, you will have to wait for the flipper to move and then ducks can pass through. When the sixth duck finally enters the ship, it'll close the little hole right there. And you can then switch to the seat that's above. You can enjoy the ride with your ducks and you can observe the hypno alien poster that turns on while it's active. You also get a nice wide view of the entire map by observing the spaceship. So that's kind of nice. 
Now, it seems like I already have a bunch of ducks up here, and that's because that elevator, I'm not sure what triggers it, but after a certain amount of time has passed, or maybe a certain amount of ducks, it'll then start shooting ducks up the elevator all the way up to the top. And the top is just a big pinball machine. Once the spaceship docks, it'll start depositing all the ducks into the pinball machine. So the pinball machine has a few features. One of them is if the ducks land on the inner circle inside the tiny holes, they will be launched upward. And if they land on the bigger outside holes, they'll be thrown back down to the main pool. So sometimes you will get a duck that will be ejected into the cup and it'll be launched out into space. That'll get you an achievement. And you'd actually be surprised to know that even though I have 250 ducks, I actually don't see this happen very often. It is pretty funny when it does happen, but in all honesty, there's so much stuff going on, especially with this many ducks in my save. Uh, it probably happens a lot more. I just don't catch it. And when I was recording today for this video, I actually caught a glimpse of a duck literally phasing through and making it into the cup. And something even rarer is that you actually get to see a nice little close-up of this little UFO that's flying around the entire map. And you get a nice little sneak peek of what's in there. So it looks like the tunnel is finally open. So let's go ahead and follow a duck inside and see where it leads. So in this large dome is a nice little like secret garden or a secret pool that looks really cool, really interesting. But once a duck comes in here, you're now able to interact with another object. And it's essentially a new seat that you can then use to like look around and observe the whole area. But this right here is going to be the main thing. So this here is a switchboard. If you click the little white dot, it'll turn on the corresponding light. And if you're familiar with Plastic Placid Duck Simulator, this is a puzzle. On the left is a monitor of an astronaut duck. And if you remember what we saw earlier, that was the duck that was inside that flying UFO. And on the right, there's a little TV. But if you use your mouse and you click the middle part of this little compartment, a duck will pop out. So this is the TV duck. So the duck does change faces if it touches specific ducks. But more importantly, if a duck touches this yellow teleporter, and you go back to that giant robot where we had that little launch pad earlier, if the seat is empty, it'll replace the duck in the seat. But if there's already a duck in the seat, it'll then give you a new position, which is the UFO flying outside. And it'll swap places to whatever duck is inside there. So here's the little astronaut duck that we rescued. Now, truth be told, there was like an update like two days ago, and I haven't played the game since. So me coming back and looking at this duck, all these little like symbols that you see on his helmet, that's actually new. I've never seen that before. So there's a nice little like close up of it and just kind of like observe what it is but yeah i thought that was an interesting little addition and speaking of teleporters i completely forgot to mention this but at the very beginning there is a little red teleporter inside the bottom of the pool the purpose of that is so that it can teleport any of the stone ducks into the sphere that way they still serve a purpose even though it's very minimal So now that we have another duck inside the launcher, let's go ahead and launch him and see if he'll actually free the UFO duck. And there we go, new duck acquired. So this duck along with the astronaut and the TV duck are the map exclusive ducks. You will not be able to get these ducks in the other maps, so that's kind of expected. And the only really special character trait that this duck can do is that it can fly. Uh, it doesn't fly very high, but I would say it flies just about an equal amount of height as the propeller duck. So if you head back to the robot, there is a console on the right that you can actually interact with and actually type stuff. So for the username, it's actually on the little astronaut duck's uh, suit, and his name is G.Toto. And once you enter that username, it'll then take you to a password section. 
So in order to solve the password, we're going to need to go back to that room with that light board. Now, the key to solving the puzzle is actually back at the main infinity pool down in the bunker. So in the bunker, if you go where all the pictures are, you'll see that there's a table. And on that table, there is a few dominoes laid out. That is the solution to the puzzle. So go on the light board and start turning on all the lights in correspondence to all the dots on the dominoes. Once you do that, a code will pop up on the bottom monitor on the left, and that right there is your password. So let's head on down to the console. Now, just so you know, I don't know if this password is universal or it's different for every playthrough. Now, once you're in, you'll be brought here to a console. So in order to navigate this, you need to use console commands, but don't worry, I'll show you what to do. So type DIR and it'll tell you the entire list. If we type CD, that stands for change directory and type in log and it takes us into that directory. Hit directory again and it'll tell us that there's nothing in there. To return, type cd dot dot. So now we're going to go ahead and explore the sounds directory. And in here, there's two things you can do. You can either type the actual word as in type one dot midi. It plays this little tune. And we're going to do that with all the other ones. If you use the command open and try opening up one of the midis, it'll actually show you what the legitimate tunes are. So write this down because this is going to be important later. So this is the tunes for MIDI 1. Here is MIDI 2. And finally, MIDI 3. Now I'm going to skip ahead because if you open the system folder, there's nothing in there as well. But the important folder that you want to go into is the Forsaken folder. After typing directory, you'll see texture.db, that mysterious file that we've been trying to open for a while. Now try opening it and make sure it's case sensitive and it'll tell you that the file is corrupted. So if we head back and go to logs, there'll be a new entry. So now let's try opening error.log. Now you're going to have to write down this sequence here because this is going to be important. So this is another puzzle that the community was able to figure out using the .midi files. So where the G is positioned, is the solution so on the first midi file it's in the g is in the second slot midi.2 it's in the sixth slot and midi.3 it's in the fourth slot so what you will do is you'll replace every x with the number two y with the number six and z with the number four and that'll be your code and just so you know every time you reload this save this code is going to be different every time but the way to solve it is always going to be the same and where do you input this code well, go find the TV duck. So I'm going to go ahead and jump ahead. All right. So now hit pause, go to your duck collection, look for the TV duck and copy paste your new code into the duck's name. Once you hit enter, you'll notice the duck's face has changed. System slash spawner dot exe. Well, time to go back to the console. So we're going to head back to the main directory. We're going to type CD SYS. You could hit dir while you're in there and you'll see spawner.exe just type spawner.exe and you'll see what happens you are then awarded a brand new soda and the console says curiosity beat the devs we got this congratulations you completed the puzzle in this map exit the console and claim your soda And now the Forsaken folder has a new entry, env.c. And for now, this is where the mysteries end. If you try typing spawner.exe again, you'll get a message saying, we already did this. So that's it. You only get one soda, and the soda is going to be on the bench, and it'll be there forever. Just like the 
strawberry soda back at the infinity cool. So jumping back to the bench, you will now see the pineapple soda along with a note written in Italian. And according to community, it says, Dear Sakura, we will be together soon. August 17th, 2022. And for those of you who don't remember, Sakura is that anime duck that was in the bunker. So as a forewarning, you need to have solved the previous puzzle, which I have a video of how to do it, in order to get to this part. So by now, you should have most of the achievements of this new map. So in order to unlock the final achievement, which is called Milk Away, I will show you how to do it. But it's heavily time-gated though. So back at the pinball machine, on the cow painted funnel, you'll actually notice that there's a box underneath it. And the only way to add more numbers to this counter is you have to wait for this special UFO to come in. And it comes in every 20 minutes to drop off a cow duck. So it looks like we finally found out what happens to the cow ducks when they get abducted. And once that counter hits 5, a special cow floaty will spawn, thus giving you the achievement. So because you need 5 ducks, 5 times 20 minutes is 100 minutes, which is an hour and 40 minutes. So yeah, you're going to be here for a while, but hey, I'm pretty sure you guys are already used to that. So that's about it for this map. Uh, sorry this video went on a little longer than expected. I wanted to showcase every little like niche thing about it to share with you my observations and findings. But some other quick things to note, the rocket duck on this map will actually shoot upwards, like directly upwards and detonate. So that's kind of interesting. And with the introduction of this update, we actually have a new interaction. So the bee duck will now fly around the plant duck. So because it was an obstruction, it had to like kind of climb over the wall. But yeah, so... Uh, that would be cool to see, especially in the Affinity Cool, since there's a, there's a lot more space. But yeah, I thought that was really interesting. So if you guys happen to know any other new interactions, uh, let me know and maybe I'll showcase them. So that is it for now for Hippo Space Download. I want to give a shout out to the Plastic Plastic Duck Simulator Discord and the community for coming together and figuring out all these puzzles in like a day. It was really fun watching in real time people like, trying to decipher something or figure something out and just generally have a good time in the community. Uh, big shout outs to Beppy on the Discord who was kind enough to help anybody who was stuck with any of the puzzles and they were kind of on there for a while helping a lot of people. And because information flies by so quick on Discord, it's hard to keep up. Uh, they were also very kind enough to kind of explain how they figured out some of the puzzles. So again, huge shout out to Beppy in the Discord. So hopefully my video helps alleviate that job. But just for clarification, I did not discover nor did I solve any of these puzzles. I was just along for the ride, making observations and just kind of like enjoying the flow. I'm just here to just kind of bring everyone's solutions together and package it in a nice little bit. So thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the new update. Can't wait to see what's in store for the next update. Enjoy some good tunes, and I'll see you guys next time on Placid Plastic Duck Simulator.